Hey guys, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. So welcome to this video. Today's video by Popular Man B7A2. I really only think I've flown this. God, my sentences are just great today. I've really only thought I think about this plane when I would do a ding ding. I've only flown this plane once, I believe. I've only flown it once. Um, I'm a big fan for Japanese carrier planes, and I don't know why I haven't touched this one more, but. Uh, it, it is carrier ready. I've got a pretty cool skin on it. What we can expect with this pl uh, expect with this plane today is wait. You know what's really weird is it says it has. Hang on, do we have to upgrade something to get that that? It says that we have two 13.7 machine guns or 13.2. Oh shit! I'm dumb. I have one turret of 13.2 millimeter type 2 machine gun times one. Okay, there was too many twos in there for me to realize. But we do have two type 99 cannons, Mark II uh, type 99, which are really nice. Um, I like those for ground strike, a uh, nice slow fire, and you can, you know, kind of see what you're shooting at. Um, for the ammo we're using today, we have ground target, armor target loaded out so we can, well, actually for the back ones, I think we, we kind of want more incendiary back there. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Universal. We have every shell is a, or every round is an incendiary. But all right, guys, let's go and take this thing out, see what we can do with it, and have some fun today. Okay, guys, so battle on Saipan with the B7A2. We're taking, you know what? We're going to take a bomb. Why not? I mean, wait, what are we, what are, what are, what are we, what are we, even, what are we even doing this battle? What, what are those things? I'm going to take some of these, I guess. I don't know. I, are those landing ships? All right, we're we're we're, we're uh, blip on the uh, carrier fleet. We're on a, a a hero. I don't even know what it's called. All right, taking off. Yeah, I love Jap. Oh yeah, I'm pumped today. Um, these are the. I don't even. You know, you, you guys know what they are. I don't need to tell you anymore. You guys are already smarter than me. We got six something in the. Well, we got six bombs on this thing. I think we're killing ground or a landing craft here. Okay, so let's go and turn to the right. Ooh, she do turn done well. All right, so I think what's going to happen is that they have destroyers. Those are destroyers on the enemy team. And what are gonna, what's going to happen is that they're going to launch landing crafts, which we're going to kill. That's the name of the game. Okay, so wow, we are we are getting pretty pretty fast. Where is, is our flaps up? Yeah. We're, look at that, 360. Now I know why you guys like this plane. It's pretty darn fast, low altitude. Uh, now who are these guys? DC's... DC's Kuma class. DC's Kuma class. Looks pretty Kuma to me. Like, guys, okay, like real talk, this map could be, like this map could be used for tanks, planes, and ships. Now, I, I don't think it's that hard, okay? These guys are professionals, they've created this game so far, they can do this. All right, so if you look at the map, all right, the tanks fight at um, G12, uh, G11, F12, F11, uh, F13, G13. That's their battle area, okay? The plane area is the area that's already on the map. The ship area, they're gonna, uh, let's say that we're on Team A, okay? We're gonna spawn at F16. No, we're gonna, sp yeah, we'll spawn at F16. Um, and then the enemy team will spawn at K5 or K6. 
granted, if that's not if that's too imbalanced, you know, they, they might be shooting some tanks from their spawn. We can move the spawn to H10, H11 for the tank spawn, and they can have fun there. So it, it could work, man. Like, do you know how hard it is to aim? Like, oh my gosh, because there'll be planes. I'm, I would just love for that to happen. I know there's so many factors to go into it, you know, to kind of be like, well, this wouldn't work and that wouldn't work, but you don't know until you, like, you try. And um, with planes being in the air, with all these planes, the ships have to worry about incoming B-7A-2s with torpedoes on it. Like, it could work! Yeah! Oh, boy. Oh, it just gets, it gets me pumped, man. It, it could work. And if it does work, it would be one of the best games in the world. Now, what would make it even a better game, which I've already said before, 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 is that infantry is needed. And I get this response. The engine can't handle it, and it would put the rating up. I mean, I've already talked about, I already talked about this in videos past, but I don't fucking care about rating. Uh, I think I said before, like, what 13-year-old, what no, okay. If someone wants a game, they're gonna get it. When I was young, and Halo was mature, and I was like, 16 I swear I I, I swear um, I was like dad can I really have this game and my, and then he was like no son it's mature you know because he really respected those like Peggy and the, the ratings back then now he doesn't even fucking care because you know I'm a big boy now uh, but um, I went through my friend who I gave him I think it was fifty dollars at the time and he bought it for me because his dad would buy him the game so you know it was kind of under the table I, 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 a kid will get a game no matter what you know just like, well, that's another, that's another discussion, but I think infantry could work really well in this game. They might be under, uh, under power, underpowered. I mean, you can, like, there's, dude, a Panzerfaust, a bazooka. My like, good gosh, mate. I think people are just too scared to try it. Okay, we are heading, ooh, we got a bow fighter. If only this thing could have rockets, that'd be nice. Whoa, we got a lot of shit over here. Holy ground strike fever! Need help at a... Holy crap. Alright, so who... Oh, a Spitfire. This is no bueno. Okay, I, th I, think, I think it has to be my time to shine now. Because that Spitfire is the only reason why... Good gosh! Alright, I think I made it known that the whole fucking team's at A right now. Dropping the bombs, need to get nice and light here. Coming in! Now we're gonna boom and zoom, because these guys are big down here. We do not want to get down here with the PBJ and stuff. Mosquito shot down Firefly, yeah! Alright, booming and zooming, going back up. Coming back around. Combat flaps. Hi, Piper. Okay, we're, go we're gonna get on this Mosquito 6 because... Okay, that mosquito absorbed a lot of our rounds right there. Whoa! This is getting crazy, boys! Not the bone fighter! Not the bone fighter! <laughs> Alright, uh, Spitfire's down! Spitfire's down! Mosquito's coming in from our left. Whoa, 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 no! Damn it. Oh, that was, that was about to be pretty damn fun. Oh. I, I just didn't, I just didn't check my six and, oh wow, the Japanese get set on fire super easily with these 
50 cows, man. I fucking hate 50 cows, dude. I fucking hate them. They're so annoyed. Like, okay, so we're back on Saipan. Uh, this time I'm going to take Omni Purpose rounds to kill. There we go. We'll take some bombs too. Perfect. Minimum load carrier fleet spawn. The reason why I'm taking Omni Purpose is uh, because I really don't need to hit targets that hard this game. There's going to only be landing crafts, so my 20 mils can easily take care of those at Omni. And second of all, last game I was shooting a mosquito. Now, granted, that was a proper, you know, damage model from the mosquito. He really shouldn't die after that beating. But I felt like I didn't register that many hits. And gosh, was that takeoff super quick with this plane? Um, I just felt like my hits weren't registered. Like it, it didn't reg. And then it felt like once they did register, they weren't doing a lot of damage. So I'm switched to Omni so I can get that high explosive in there, or at least more high explosive per uh, for like three or four rounds. So I can maybe take some down over A. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a nice course for us to get over there. Are we lagging right now? Those ships look like, look, look like they're lagging right there. Our, our ping's pretty good. There they go. Now they're, now they're doing a lot better. That's weird. Okay, are we on good route? Okay, perfect. Um, so, last battle we talked about the whole, you know, ships, tanks, planes, infantry. Um, in, in this, I have, I, have, I have a lot to talk about today. Um, in this gameplay, or this, what am I trying to say? I'll just get to the story. Um, so Spider has been distressed the last couple of days, maybe four or five days. And at first, you know, I would realize it and I would be like, hey buddy, what's wrong? Pet him for a little bit, you know, go back in my room, you know, record, you know, work on video stuff. Uh, and then he would start meowing again, like distress meows, like deep, like rah, like you guys know that like distinctive, like annoying meow that cats do when they're distressed. And I almost felt like he was crying. I felt like, you know, he needed attention. So, you know, I would stop what I was doing. I would go out there, you know, I'd play with him for a little bit, maybe like, you know, 10 minutes. And I'll, I'll come back in, in here and five minutes later, he would start meowing again. And so I was like, what the heck, Spider, what do you want? Because I'm not going to feed him when he's meowing. I'll play with him when he's meowing because, you know, that's good. You know, l let me know when you want to have fun. But I don't I don't want to train the cat to meow when he's hungry because once you do that, then the, the cat's never going to stop meowing because a cat's like a wolf, a cat's like a lion. Um, they, they're they going to eat everything like it's their last meal. I believe that's how the evolution is, you know. You eat as much as you can and then you go for a sleep because you don't know when you're going to get your next food. That's really beside the story. But uh, I think it was like two days ago, you know, I just got fed up with it. I was like, dude, what the hell is your problem? You're annoying. And then second thing is, is that I was very frustrated because I didn't know what was wrong with him. Like, I was like, I want you to be happy um, too. And so he was at the door, you know, two days ago, just meowing profusely and it dawned on me. I was like, holy shit, this is what it's been all along. Spider was raised outside. That's his home. This is like a hotel for him. And so I, I, I open the door and this cat bolts out like he's free. He's like, I'm free, motherfucker! He, like he bolts, like he, he doesn't stop to look around like what's, like you know how cats go outside, they kind of smell around. This guy bolted into the dark. And I was like, holy crap, man. I don't know, does he not like me? Does he not like, you know, this house or whatever? So I'm like, all right, man, well, enjoy your life. And, uh, you know, if, if he comes back, then that's, you know, that's, that's fine. You know, I don't like, if, if, if an animal doesn't want to stay with you, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like lock him in like a slave, like a pet slave. Um, and long and behold, I think that was around 8 p.m. I don't know if I said that around like 12 or 1 a.m. Um, I'm still up doing stuff, playing with my friends. And um, my, my microphone picks up a lot of noise that I can't hear with my regular ears because it's, you know, it picks up a lot. And so I hear this, you know, this door kind of like scratching, and I hear this meowing, and it's Spider wanting to come back inside. This guy is like, because it was really hot that day, so in the nighttime it was pretty cool. So he was he was pretty wet because there was a lot of dew on the grass. He had a lot of uh, tall grass seeds on him, so I combed him, um, got all that stuff off him. He ate a lot, and then he went to bed, and he just he was knocked out, and. Uh, from that point on, I've been letting him outside every day around 4 p.m. and he would come back around 9 and then just go to sleep. And he'll sleep till around 1, he'll wake up, you know, clean himself, have a little bite to eat before he goes outside, go outside, do his cat things. 
and uh, come back inside. So it's, it's really nice now that I, 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 I it's, it's just surprising that I didn't realize that earlier, um, that, that the cat was in uh, distress like that. But oh well, uh, it's, it's just good that you know, at, you know, that he's on track, and you know, we're we're on the same page. Is what I'm trying to say now. Because it's kind of hard to know what your cat wants when he doesn't, you know, have opposable thumbs, so he can't write, or he can't talk. All right, so we have the Key 96 is just farming all those um, AI F6Fs. <laughs> Good God, what a guy! <laughs> um, but we have omnipurpose rounds, I believe. Okay, so that Tempest down there, we have a Typhoon. Roger that. Don't know why these guys are. Okay, we have, a, we, have, we have a friendly down there. We have, who is that? A6M3 dealing with that Tempest. We're going to go ahead and deal with this Typhoon, I believe. Because if we get this Tempest out of the match and this Typhoon, we're going to have free reign over this area. Now, what is just going to happen is they're going to start landing some tanks, which I didn't account for. Hopefully, they'll, they'll, they'll be mediums. Okay, here we go. We're going to close on this guy pretty darn quickly. He's turning around. I'm going to pitch up here. Whoa, look at all those F6Fs right there. Holy crap. They're in nice formations. All right, still closing the distance. Come on, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah. I was like, who is right next to me? All right, here we go. We're engaging. Oh, my God. I hit his wing and I killed his pilot. Lol. All right, can we turn around for these F6Fs maybe? I mean, why not? If we can catch them, we're gonna kill them. Come on, B7A2! We're gonna dive to get a little boom and zoom going on here. Who's around us right now? Okay, we are getting on them. Our oil's a little bit overheating right now. Typical allied team can't shoot enemy. Oh my gosh, are, are you dead, Tiny? Oh yeah, you're dead too, so, huh. Right back at you, bitch. Oh! Okay, we're, we're gonna close on them right now. They are fast, though, boys. We, we, we still need a little more speed on them. I don't wanna get rid of my bombs, either. Come on, B7 and 2, let's go! Let's go! All right. Oh, there's a there's an A6 and five right here. Okay, no worries. He looks like he missed some. Good God, these, these rounds are so damn slow. All right, just yep. There you go. Okay. Go go ham, bro. Okay. All right. Well, ne next time I don't need to do that. <laughs> All right, uh, who's around? Ooh, we have F6F down low. This guy's falling to the ground. Ooh, we have some ground targets over here. Medium tanks. Oil's overheating pretty profusely right now. Um, we have, uh, looks like these outside bombs are gonna drop at, you know, in dual pairs, and then our internals will drop one at a time. We have, I think we have 60 kilo kilogram bombs, and our internals are 250. A lot of stuff over here. They just landed. Yeah, the Japanese are just... Wow, the Japanese are just kicking shit! Hell yes! So we have submerging tanks. Which are pretty darn cool. We're, we're gonna kind of close for these uh, small bombs. Drop a little bit in front of him. Right there. Drop two pairs of those. It's a medium tank. All right, good. We got one of the medium tanks down. I don't know if that the uh, you know the kilogram bombs would ruin them all, so that that's why I dropped two pairs. We're coming back around. Good gosh, man! I swear to God, a small arm AA in this game does so much more than the big ones. Big bombs coming out. So we got one medium tank and one landing craft. Good shit. God, those landing crafts are high on the uh, the sea right or on the land. 
Turn back around. We got flaps coming in. Good gosh, man. They have they have nerfed so much ground capability for these planes in this game. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, in all honesty, those rounds really shouldn't blow up a landing craft, but still, like, how it used to be. Oh, shit, we got some Spitfires coming in. We're going to go help these guys out, maybe. Because if, if, if I can get in there as an X-Factor, we can probably really win this battle. So this guy's going to go straight on me right now and have a Key 43 behind him. He's hungry for the kill. We'll shoot right back around. Oh, he's just going heads up right now. Yeah. Behind us, I can maybe go help this guy out too. It looked like he had a little bit of trouble. That that guy's definitely run into like all the all the enemies. Or all our allies. You guys are having a nice dog fight. I'm about to end it. All right, tango down. Whoo! So that's that's game. That's game. We got two. We got two airplane kills. Four ground targets. Just a really nice playing on how you can switch from ground strike to um, anti or to air well, air strike anti air. I guess. Um, right away, really nice plane. Um, it, it just balances the two out really well. Uh, I now know why everyone likes this plane so much. Game is over, boys. Good job. Okay. All right, dude. <laughs> that guy's like, you, you, oh, you, you fly daily. Let me shoot you down after the after the scoreboard. All right, number third on our team. Not bad at all. I don't know about you guys, but is the RP so much lower these days? I remember like hitting like 8, 9k after like, you know, two kills. They're like, oh, oh no, the players are advancing in game way too quick. Make RP gain less, so players buy more Go Eagles. That's how it goes down. But hope you guys have enjoyed. In the comment box below, vote on the next plane I take out for you guys to hear my rambling and epic gameplay. Peace out, y'all.